According to the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, he is pretty serious about fighting against Brexit. He is also pretty serious about campaigning to rejoin the European Union. And he also thinks that he's the most popular man in Britannia. Yeah, second video about Sadiq Khan today. I'm, I do apologize to the general public to for mentioning his name twice in one day. But the guy doesn't give me a break. He doesn't help me. So Sadiq Khan or Sadiq can't. Uh, he can't really run London. He can't manage his own budget. He can't even do anything really right. He can't even become L London a uh, Labour uh, leader. He failed the first time he tried to plot. But don't, never say never because I could see a situation in the future where Sadiq could become a Labour leader. And that is when me and you guys, we are going to defect and escape to some sort of island. Somewhere, probably in the Car yeah, Caribbean or somewhere. <laughs> we are not staying here if Sadiq Khan becomes Prime Minister. But that is a joke. Now, Sadiq Khan has said that I simply can't keep quiet about the immense damage Brexit is doing. Ministers seem to have deployed selective amnesia when it comes to one of the root causes of our problems. Brexit can't be airbrushed out of history or the consequences wished away. Okay, said he can. He continues by saying that we need greater alignment with our European neighbours. A shift from this extreme hard Brexit we have now uh, to, <laughs> to a workable version that serves our economy and people. That includes having a pragmatic debate about the benefits of being a part of the customs union and the single market. I can assure you, Sadiq Khan, whatever you're saying is not pragmatic, is purely ideological and reactionary. There's nothing pragmatic about just closing your eyes and surrendering to a globalist entity in Brussels without even knowing what you're saying yes to. This is not status quo. This is going progressively in a bad way towards a more of a United States of Europe. They want to start chanting USE, USE. They want the United States of Europe. That is the reality. And clearly, Euro fanatics like Sadiq Khan want to sell London and the rest of Britain and out to the nutters in Brussels and, of course, in Davos and everywhere else. That is the truth. We know that. But they don't really do it for the sake of capitalism because they're not capitalists. They are socialist corporatists. They are state corporatists. These people are what China are currently doing. The Chinese Communist Party is basically a state corporatist country. That is uh, what the model is. But they are now saying that look at the opinion polls. Everything is about opinion polls. Opinion polls matter. The, the, the general public, generally speaking, not changed their view. It's always been about 50-50. goes up, it goes down for the past few years. It's been the same thing. But they say, look at the trend. In hindsight, do you think Britain was right or wrong to vote to leave the EU? You can see the green and the, the blue. Green is basically always oh, bad. We should join the EU again. And the blue is, uh, yeah, just we've, we've left now. Leave it alone. It, you know, it, it's, it's generally still close. Now, at best, when they get to like, ooh, 54%, 53% now remain, they want to they rejoin the EU. Well, nothing's really changed. Because if we're going to find a peak moment to help our own narrative, well, I've got another one for you guys. Um, opinion in 2012, they had 56% pro leave and only 30% pro remain. And the biggest chunk in the middle, they didn't care. <laughs> so, but they weren't really passionate about remaining anyway. So only 30% were in favor of remaining. If you go and look at this, uh, look at the tracker and all the opinion polls since 2010, you can see that the leave vote was generally the same. It's basically between 49% to 55, 56%. We had a couple of random ones, but it was 60% in favor of leave uh, years ago. But remain was always low. It was all, mostly um, below 45%. So, because there was a lot of people who were just saying, I don't know yet, I'm not really ready to answer the question. But Lee was always around 50%. Remain was always 30 to 40% or 40-ish. But that was always the case. If you want to be selective about opinion polls, then we got our own opinion polls. Because <laughs> it really depends on the question, it really depends on the timing, and the British public, their instinct is always right. That was the result of the referendum. It's called a referendum. People did it, and they send the the consensus to the parliament and the government 
and it took them about half a century to actually implement that vote but that's a whole different debate anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm maya tusi and we are the media